Hello Troop 1907. This is ASM Amit Surkar, and I'd like to introduce a new role to you called Patrol Quartermaster. Patrol Quartermaster is a role that is assigned by the patrol at each campout. So before the campout, when you're doing the patrol camping plan, there would be a person who's picked or volunteers for the role of Patrol Quartermaster. So today I'm going to show you how to do this role using a patrol box. Here's patrol box number five. Let's say you got this at the beginning of a camp out. So opening up the box, first thing I'm going to see is a clipboard. This clipboard has a uh, retractable uh, lanyard here with a uh, pen, so the pen doesn't walk off. And then here's a picture inventory of everything that's in the patrol box. This is a handy laminated card that you can use just to give you a picture idea of what each thing is. On the back there's a copy of a thing called a gear checkout and cleaning list. And also with this clipboard in this pouch which is a sheet protector there are copies of this same gear checkout and cleaning list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take one of these out. Actually, I just ended up taking two of them out, but that's all right. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and reattach that back over here. So my clipboard's ready to go. All right. So to start this off, I'm going to write down when I got this gear. So I'm going to put month, date, and so forth. Patrol name, checking the gear out. So put the name of the patrol. And then who is the patrol leader? And the assistant patrol leader, I'm going to put their full names right there. And then the dates that the gear is needed. So let's say I was going for the weekend, I would put the beginning date and the end date of the camp out. All right, now this whole list lets you write the condition of your tent at the beginning and end of the camp out, the patrol box at the beginning and end of the camp out, the two burner stove that you got at the beginning and end of the camp out, and then these sections at the bottom where you could put other gear. And there's a section here at the bottom left that I'm going to talk about just in a minute. But let's go through what's in this uh, patrol box. When you get the gear, what you want to do is grab the clipboard, get a sheet out, make sure it's nice and snug there on the clipboard, and then get this out as a reference if you need it. And I'm going to go down the list and check off every single thing that's in the patrol box. So I'm just going to focus on the patrol box section now. Remember, when you're actually doing the gear checkout, you're going to do it for the tent, the tube, burner stove, and really any other items that you're uh, using. But the three main ones are patrol box, tent, and tube, burner stove. So the first thing it says is the cooking utensils box. And I'm going to check and make sure I've got that. Obviously, that's very, very important. So here's my cooking utensils box. And... <clears throat> Let me just get organized here real quick so it'll make it a little bit easier to show. Put this here. Put this over here. Okay. Here we go. So here's my cooking utensils box. Here's my pot. I'm actually going to put that aside for a second. In my cooking utensils box, first of all, I'm going to check that I have my cooking utensils box. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. Then I'm going to open this guy up and just see what's inside. It says i got to look for two cutting boards. And my picture shows me that there's a red one and a white one. Well, you know what? A lot of the things in this patrol box won't be exactly the way this picture card shows. Sometimes the sizes will be a little different. Sometimes the colors will be a little different. Sometimes the materials the things made out of might be a little different. But you should have two. That's the important thing. So we're going to check for that. And when I look down at the bottom of this box, what I see is there are, in fact, two cutting boards. So I'm going to call that one as available. I'm going to say, okay, it's available. Two cutting boards. Paper towel roll. Now, inside this box, I'm not going to open it right now, but there actually is a full paper towel roll. So I'm going to go ahead and check that off. Two cup measuring cup. Here's a two cup measuring cup. So I got that. I'm going to check that off. Ladle. Here's a ladle. Buy black garbage bags. In a Ziploc bag that says garbage bags, you should actually have five. I can actually see that they're all five here, nicely folded up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check that off. 
scrub brush. This is what a scrub brush looks like. Slotted cooking spoon. So the difference between a regular spoon and this one is you can see right here, it's got the slots in it. Spatula. So a spatula is this kind of flexible material here. It holds up in the heat. It could be red, black, it could be a number of different colors, but there you go. Cooking fork. Here's a cooking fork. So as I'm going, I'm checking each of these off right here. Now there's two measuring sets. This one is good for measuring fractions of cups. And then the other one I have here measures fractions of spoons. So I have both of those. I'm going to go ahead and check those off. Can opener. Here it is. Peeler. Here's my peeler. Knife with a plastic sheath. These are both important. I don't want this loose in my box. So, knife with a plastic sheath. Make sure I've got both in there, just like that. And I'm going to mark both. They're each individual items here. It says knife and it says plastic sheath for knife. Two pot holders. lighter. Okay, so here's my lighter, but the important thing is, does it actually light? Got a little wind here today, so I'm going to go ahead and test it, and it actually is lighting. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it is lighting, but it's so windy it's blown out even as I'm trying to light it, but it does light. And by the way, I can check in here and see how much fuel I have, which is about a half. I can see a little window right there. That's important to know for later. Whisk. Here's a whisk. Two cooking spoons. It says two cooking spoons. Now here's two of them. I could have one that's uh, plastic or wood. It's typically skinnier. The other one, a little bit bigger. This one here, got a handle. Got a turner here. The turner is usually flat bottom like that. Tongs. That's the last item in this box. And now we're going to go on to the items in the rest of the patrol box. Just bear with me one second here. I'm going to go ahead and close that up a little bit later. But let's see what else is in this box. We're moving on to the pots and frying pan now. Here's the pots and frying pan with a strap on it. We're going to go through this. So it has to have this black strap, or just any colored strap really, but just a strap because that's what holds us all together. So that's one of the items here. I'm going to check that off. The frying pan itself. Here's the frying pan. And inside here, there should be a handle. These two go together. And by the way, this also works with the other pots. Um, if this is not in here, it's very easy for it to get lost, so we want to make sure it's actually in there. But these two go together, frying pan and handle. Now, inside my pot, there are other pots, right? So here's my four pot, my four quart pot, three, two, and one, with a lid. We want all parts of this. Whenever you're done checking this, you should always close it up so it all stays together. Now, very typical mistake, I left the handle out. So I want to go back, make sure this is inside. Okay, so on my list, I'm going to check off. 
quart, quart, three quart, two quart, and one quart pot with the lid. Got all of those things. All right. Um, and I'd already checked off frying pan and frying pan handle here. Just making sure those marks are good. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the rest of the patrol box and write down the other items that are in here. Aluminum foil. As you can see, this one, pretty used up. Not much left to it. So I'd actually put a new one in here to replenish it. So when you do get a patrol box at the beginning of a camp out, it's going to have everything you need. By the time you're done, you're going to start using some of this stuff up. So what then happens is there's a section at the bottom left of this sheet that says things that need regular refilling or replacing. So as you use stuff, at the end of the camp out, when you fill out the list for the end of the camp out status of the patrol box, you're going to check to make sure everything is there, just like it was there at the beginning. And then you're going to write down here how much is left. It says aluminum foil. What fraction's left? Well, if all that was, whoops, if all that was in the box was this guy, I would say, hmm, that looks like uh, about maybe a third to a half left. I don't know if you can see that, but that's about all that's there. So that's what I written, would have written down. But in this particular box, let's say at the end of the camp out, I also had this thing completely unopened. I could go ahead and say, you know what, I got a full aluminum foil left. Now if it was only just the one with the one third left, I would write, okay, I used up, I used up uh, the aluminum foil, this pen is giving me a little bit of a hard time, um, aluminum foil and I would have said one third left. That's if I only had this and there was nothing else in the box, I would say, oh, I only have one third left. I, it was more full in the beginning, but I used a lot of it up, only one third left. That's what I would write down in this section right here, okay? I definitely have aluminum foil, so I can check that off. Cooking spray. It's a can of cooking spray in there. Now, you kind of have to feel this weight and just see, hmm, how much is in there? Uh, is it a half, a third, kind of, you know, best guess. So I'm going to go ahead and say I have that. also going to be a container for scours. So it's going to be this coffee container. It's plastic. Inside here, I've got a scouring pad. Got two scours. I have a camp suds bottle. Now, notice the camp suds bottle is three quarters full. That's important to know how much full is it. It's about three quarters full. And finally, I have steramine tablets. This is completely full. So I just have to remember how much I'm starting with, so when the camp out's done, when I mark it down, I might say, hey, the camp suds is three quarters full, or half full, or whatever it is. Same with the steramine tablets. So I'm going to go ahead and check off that I have the container, I have the two scouring pads, I have the camp suds bottle, I have the steramine tablets. Just got through that entire thing right there. Next up is the mesh bag. So, mesh bag for drying dishes. Here it is. By the way, when I normally put that away, I would fold it up nicely, but I'm just quickly showing you guys what's what in this box. The first aid kit. Here's a first aid kit. By the way, if you use anything in this first aid kit, it's really important you let us know. And the way you let us know is that at the bottom left again, of the checklist it says first aid items used and if you check that then you should write hey I used you know three bandages or whatever you just write that there. It says propane tank next. So there's two kinds of propane tanks. These dark green ones are one time use only and these light green ones are refillable. Now the reason there's two in here is because this is almost gone so we want to use up what's there. But then we can go ahead and use the light green ones, which are refillable. Um, you might only have one, and that's okay. As long as you have one, then you can check it off saying you have it. Hand sanitizer. Rubber mallet. Oh, 
folding camp shovel. Here's the folding camp shovel. It's marked 1907 for the troop number. And it comes in a case. Okay, so the shovel and the case are two separate items. And there are check boxes in here for both items. So I'm going to go ahead and check off folding camp shovel and shovel case. Now what happens if something's damaged or missing? Let's say I had just the shovel, but I didn't have this nylon case around it. Then I would write down, hey, I, I wouldn't mark the shovel case on here, and then I would write shovel case missing. I would write that right there, okay? So that's how you go through the whole thing. By the way, I mentioned before there's a paper towel roll there. There, there it is. Um, okay, so I've checked off everything. If anything's missing or damaged, I would write what that is right here. Now, at the end of the camp out, I would fill out the same items. This is exactly the same as what's here. These two are the same. I would write down what's there and what's not there. And if anything's missing or damaged at the end of the camp out, I would write that at the end. Now here, I would write things that get used up, like paper towel rolls, garbage bags. Uh, what are some of the other things? The lighter, the cooking spray. I would write how much of it is left, what fraction is left. I would put that over here. Um, so that's how I fi uh, finish up that section there. So uh, uh, two other important things you need to know is for this patrol box, you need to, work, work, first of all, where there's an asterisk on this sheet, you need to make sure every asterisk item is complete. But here it says patrol box number. Now this patrol box, I don't know if you can see it, says PB05, this patrol box 5. So I would have written right here PB05, okay? That's, you do that at the beginning of the campout. At the end of the campout, it says name of scout who will take it home to clean. So you would put the first and last name of the scout right there. When the campout is done, you're going to take this sheet and you're going to bring it to the next troop meeting. So you're going to bring it, uh, you're going to give it to the scout quartermaster, or you would give it to the ASM equipment coordinator. Um, and that's how you complete your duties as a patrol quartermaster. So as you can see, that's uh, that's a complete, pretty thorough checkout. Um, once you get used to it, this will probably take you about 5-10 minutes, uh, maybe 10 minutes to go through it. Uh, once you get used to it, you'll probably get faster and faster at it. But I think this will really help the troop uh, keep its gear in good condition and keep everything refilled and replenished. So thanks very much for listening, and uh, happy camping.